Alright, and go over empirical rule just a bit. Um, basically everything that I've written up there is is all that I'm going to talk about. Um, so if you have a standard normal curve with um, mu at artificial zero from zero or from mu to mu plus one standard deviation is going to be 34% of your curve. Empirical rule states that between mu minus one standard deviation to mu plus one standard deviation includes 68% of your curve. From mu minus two to mu plus two standard deviations contains 95% of your, your curve. And for three standard deviations left and three standard deviations right includes 99.7% of your curve. Now, this doesn't go out again with another standard deviation because it gets so small. Um, it goes out to negative infinity and positive infinity. But from mu to negative infinity, it's 50% of your curve. And from mu to positive infinity, it's the other 50% of your curve. So you can figure out just from these numbers, um, say if someone wanted to know how much of the curve is in between one standard deviation and two standard deviations on the positive side. You could do that um, just because you know half of the curve is over here. You know that 34% is between mu and mu plus one standard deviation. And the difference between 34% and what is that? 44.5% is it? Up, but anyway, it ends up being 13.5 if you do the math. 13.5% of the curve is in between one standard deviation and two standard deviations on the positive side of the curve. And you can do that for any other any other area on there. Just be careful with the math. That's it. Pretty simple.